noise, same smell, shut up, noxious. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be talking why, why I decided to get uh, the Sportster. But she's tough. So pretty. Just do a short outing ride early in the morning and uh, we'll be back home even before the family pretty much wakes up so we are going out to our uh, playground upstate New York one of the parks nearby you've probably seen it more than once and in this video I'm gonna actually be talking about my latest addition to the Harley to my Harley uh, family I got to keep my electric glide some company I said somebody uh, asked what hope hoping that the new iron 883 sportster iron 883 that I got is not replacing my 2020 electric glide standard and I said no man Harleys are herd animals they have to be in a a group they have to be accompanied so my 2020 electric light standard here was feeling uh, lonely the last year so I had to get it another another companion in the garage garage is getting too cold over there so uh, in this video I'm gonna be talking why why I decided to get uh, the Sportster the iron Sportster 883 why that bike So before I even uh, begin this whole rant of uh, the bike, I appreciate if uh, you're new to this channel and uh, you wanna wanna watch more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. God. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for the support up till now, guys. I really appreciate it. This journey is is growing and uh, I enjoy every moment so on with the video now what is John writing over here right near me he's writing his Ducati Ducati uh, Street Fighter I think it's called 1200 V4 whatever I'm not sure the exact details that's his uh, other bike because his bike is Road Glide uh, which he calls Silverback is being uh, worked on currently. So, like I said, why did I uh, why did I go with uh, another Harley Sportster 883? Well, first thing, a Sportster is a great beginner bike or second bike. Obviously, I'm not a I'm not a beginner rider. I have uh, more than 30 years of riding experience, and uh, so I got it mainly as a second bike. The second bike is great. the The, the platform is great for uh, fun around town or even on highway riding. Wait a second. by Mr. John. So coming down from a heavy bike, almost 900 pounds, almost 900 pounds of uh, of iron. Woo! Woo! There's nothing like uh, when you want a short ride around nearby, just fun, good weather to hop on a, a light, powerful, well, powerful, a light and nimble and fun, full of character bike. And uh, the Sportster is exactly that bike. Same family as, uh, same family as my electric line, the Harley, the V-Twin, 
with the same thumping noise, same smell. Shut up. Noxious. Same smell of gases burning, same vibration, same feeling, same emotions. So definitely a, a great as a second bike and even more as a first bike. First bike, a great starter bike, although it's not the lightest and there's there's some other uh, lighter alternatives, but in terms of handling, fun factor, uh, emotions like feeling on the bike, proud, uh, like pride of ownership, nothing like a Sportster. So that was uh, reason number one. Second reason is uh, it's a great platform for all kinds of upgrades, modifications, doing work on the bike. It's relatively a, uh, a simple bike. Relatively a simple bike, uh, you know, to work on, not too complicated. Uh, there's a lot of space between, oh, can't even talk. The motor area is not congested. It's easy to work on uh, on the pipes, on the heads, on uh, everything around the bike. Easy, simple, and since it's since it's such a such a big uh, following, such a big market here in the states, there's tons and tons and tons of parts, modifications. A lot of companies, a lot of companies putting out aftermarket parts and stuff like that. So it's a great platform to build, uh, to build your uh, your own personal bike build, and that's one of the reasons I I bought this bike. I'm planning to have a, a build series around it. I'm gonna do a lot of mods, a lot of builds around this bike. And at this stage, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what I'm what specific build I'm doing, but I'm gonna spend a lot of hours around this bike, tweaking, modifying, upgrading uh, my new Sportster. Now the third reason, third reason is the following. Sportster, Harley Sportster has a huge, huge, huge following around the world, uh, on YouTube, on the media, social media, everywhere. The, one of the most searched uh, items is a uh, Harley Sportster. And usually it appeals to younger, younger uh, viewers, younger people that are just starting their journey in, uh, in motorcycles. So if you check out my channel stats, like what they call on YouTube demographics, my average viewer's age is uh, anywhere between 45 to 55. And that's pretty much my age. But I'm trying to capture this the younger rider. Younger rider, beginner rider, I'd say in his 30s, early 30s, that just got uh, started to get comfortable, house, family, and wants uh, to develop or to start riding and get uh, like a little hobby in there in his recreational time. Usually, majority of them look for, you know, Americans, look for the Harley and the uh, bike they want to start with is a uh, Harley Sportster. Now I'm trying to get those guys to watch this channel and see us old dudes how much fun we have in our age riding and hopefully oh, oh, watch it John hopefully we'll be able to capture capture them and show them how us old farts have fun and how much fun they can have uh, riding bikes and uh, you know developing their culture because I know now younger younger riders these days I'm not really into uh, motorsports and stuff like that. So I'm hoping to capture them, to bring them into to the Holy Shift family. To bring them into the Holy Shift family and have them uh, 
uh, with us on this journey. And the last and actually the most important reason I decided to get the Sportster 883 is my daughter. My second daughter, Sean. She's 21 now. She just uh, she just got her uh, motorcycle driver's license. She went to uh, an academy, a riding academy in Israel, and completed the road test. She rode, uh, I think, a KTM 390 over there for like 20 lessons, and then took the road test. And she's really all excited about it. Currently, I don't know if you know, at this stage, she's in Israel, serving already two, two years in the military. And in a half year, she's supposed to come back to the States. So I'm really excited about her getting her license. A bit scared as well, of course. And I wanted to have a, a, a nice bike for her. <clears throat> To be able to ride with me and I think as a, a beginner bike she'll be able to handle it I mean she's small she's 5'5 five, 5'6 five, five, but she's tough she's like in the military right now in Israel she's uh, a frontline unit so she's she's a tough a tough cookie I'm sure she'll be able to handle this bike, but again, I want her to have uh, an easier bike to handle. It's a bit, it's a bit heavy, but it's not too powerful, and it's nimble and it's low. I mean, it's yeah, it's low. It's you know, you can she'll be easily able to to reach uh, flat foot the floor, uh, flat foot the ground when she's uh, standing. So that is pretty much. The main reason why I got this bike for her, she'll be uh, coming uh, here on vacations to visit and hopefully we'll be able to get a few rides in and to let her, to let her have a, like a, a beautiful smile on her pretty face. Uh, I just remembered one thing that I wanted to mention over there, right there when I was talking about my daughter. My daughter, Sean, being a proud, a proud American Jew, decided to serve and protect the Holy Land, Israel. That's why she went and joined the Israeli military. I'm very proud of her. Now to all my other kids that are watching, don't be jealous, I love you all the same. Nikki, I love you, you know that. I'd do anything for you, don't be jealous. Daniel, my boy, you know I love you, man. When you're older and you decide to do stuff like this, we'll take care of you. And Elatush, 14 year old, youngest one, you know I love you. I love my wife, my beautiful wife as well. So, that's it, those are the, the, the top reasons that I was thinking uh, of you know mentioning during this video why I decided to get uh, the 883 the uh, Harley Davidson Sportster 883 now about the bike itself oh it's a little bit bumpy over here the road <laughs> so the iron so the Sportster that I decided to buy is a 2015 Iron 883 with only 2,400 miles on it, brand new, one owner, and the second owner, here you go, Woo! on the second owner, and it's in great condition, the owner before me did a lot of mods on it, upgrades, and believe it or not, he was very meticulous about it, he saved all his older parts, So I have all the parts. Next video I'm gonna do is gonna be, I'm gonna be washing the bike because it's really, really filthy dirty. And I'm gonna unbox the box that he, box of goodies that he, that he left for me.
Now I'm going to shut up a little bit and just enjoy the road. What? Can't hear you. Yeah, it is. It is. A bit chilly. Come on, do your flyby. It is a bit chilly. But manageable. Coffee? Coffee. 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 Okay, we'll go to DD over there. John can't start. Well, me too. Oh, nice. Nice. He just put, he just installed an eliminator kit on that bike. That's nice. Some nice signaling over there. Really. Let me show you. That's nice. Fuel injectors on. We were just wondering, John and I, while we were drinking coffee, uh, I don't know if there's any lawyer out there between uh, among amongst you guys. Tell us uh, if you know, what is the legality of, uh, in court, of, uh, or evidence, let's put it that way, using, using the video footage that I post on YouTube against me. If I, uh, let's say I'm doing, uh, running a red light, if I'm, uh, turning where it's not allowed, if I'm over speeding and the footage is uh, shown shown online, can that be used against me in court? If no other uh, person, like there, no policeman stopped me, no policeman stopped me and just randomly authorities look at the video and say, okay, and send me a ticket or call me for uh, for court, whatever. Can that be done? I was always wondering because I see everybody, a lot of uh, moto vloggers on YouTube go ahead and hide their speed if they're over speeding. Obviously, I never over speed. I always go legal speeds. Uh, but if uh, accidentally I was I would to go uh, over the speed limit, would uh, any uh, authority or an official be able to take that footage and send me a ticket or I don't know or do something what is the legality of that thing uh, if uh, there's any lawyer among you amongst you guys please let me know down in the comments what you know or what you think uh, can be done if at all because so many motor vloggers are so busy during editing uh, hiding hiding their speed and stuff like that footage what are the legal ramifications for something like that You drop the GoPro mount over here. The one that's here. It's over here. Where? Just now under the bridge. Really? I saw you in the mirror. Oh, okay. Wanna get it, put it in your bag. What? You wanna get it, put it in your bag? Yeah.
Okay. I just was I was looking in the mirror and I was able to see John uh, dropping his uh, GoPro mount. Thankfully, there was no GoPro on it. How you thank me? Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boy.
sun sunrise was like an hour ago, maybe half an hour ago. <clears throat> Both sides, left, right. Water level is extremely high after the the crazy amount of uh, waterfall that we had a week or two ago.